Hi, this is Sormon. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to learn a lot of text functions in Microsoft Excel. Ito mga functions na to ay ginagamit natin especially when we are handling text-related data. Ang mga functions na ito ay ang mga sumusunod. Text to columns, ampersand, concatenate, proper, upper, lower, len, left, right, mid, and three. Huwag po kayong matakot dahil ang mga functions na to ay madali po siyang gamitin. I will explain each of these functions with examples so that you can not only understand it but also remember it. Start with, meron akong example dito na Raymond Peralta. Ang gusto kong mangyari, mailipat ko sa kabilang column yung last name. Kasi gusto ko, meron ako dito ang first name. At sa kabilang column naman, meron akong last name. So para magawa ko yun, kailangan ko ng mahiwalay yung last name to other column. So para gawin natin yun, i-click natin or i-select natin yung data. Pupunta tayo ng data. And then we have your text to column. Dito sa text column wizard, meron tayong tatlong step. So dito, sa unang step, nakalagay dito, choose the file type that best describes your data. If it is delimited, meaning to say, meron tayong characters such as comma or tabs separate in each field. So ibig sabihin, meron tayong tinatawag na delimiter. Pag sinabi naman natin fixed width, ang ibig sabihin daw, fields are aligned with columns with spaces between each field. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, titingnan natin yung data, kung anong klase ng data meron tayo. So, sa ngayon, meron akong tinatawag na delimiter. Dito sa baba, makikita natin doon yung preview ng selected data. So, ito, ito yung uh, magiging result, uh, result natin in the end. So, dito natin makikita kung okay na ba tayo doon sa data natin. So, ang pipiliin ko ngayon is delimited. Click natin yung next, and then pipili tayo anong delimiter yung nakita natin dun sa selected na data. So, sa selected na data, meron tayong space. Okay, wala po tayong tab doon. So, only space. If you have comma, check po natin yung comma. Kung meron kang semicolon, check mo rin yung semicolon. Okay, so nakikita natin sa preview, nabasa niya at nakita niya kung nasaan yung space. After niyang makita yung space, automatically nilipat niya dun sa, ka, sa kabilang column yung text after ng space. So kung meron kang tatlong pangalan at meron tatlong spaces, so meaning to say, magkakaroon siya din ng tatlong column. So every column po, isang column per space na nabasa niya. So click natin yung next. And this is now the final output. So we have first column and we have here se uh, second column. Click finish. So, ito na po yung nagiging result. What if meron naman akong ganitong klase ng data? Raymond Peralta. As you can see, in my data, wala po siyang space. Pero gusto kong ilipat din yung Peralta din sa second column. So, the same process, select po natin yung data, go to data tab, and text to column. But this time, we will choose fixed width. So, sa fixed width, ibig sabihin tayo po ang maglalagay o tayo po yung maghahati ng data. So, ito po yung ating preview. Click natin yung next. Dito po, meron tayong ruler. So, ang gagawin natin, sundan po natin yung instruction. To create a break line, click at the desired position. So, kung gusto mong mag-create ng break line in between D at P, so, i-click lang daw natin yung a uh, desired position. So, matakaroon siya ng break line. To delete a break line, double click on the line. So, double click on the line. Okay? So, to create a break line, click on the desired position. To move a break line, click and drag it. So, for example, you, you want to move the break line, so click and drag it. Okay? Click and drag it. So, dito natin siya hahatiin in between ng D at saka ng P. So, click natin yung next. So, this is now the final result. Okay, first column is the first name, second column is the last name. So, click finish. Okay. 
Another example is I have here Raymond in the first uh, column. And on the second column, I have here Peralta. So, ang gusto ko mangyari, magkaroon ako dito sa column na to na kung saan mapagsama ko yung Raymond Peralta. Okay? So, para magawa ko yun, gagamit ako ng ampersand. So, we have here equals, then we have the first string or the text followed by ampersand and then Peralta. So, as you can see here, we have Raymond Peralta. But take note here, wala po tayong space in between. So, para magkaroon ng space, ang gagawin natin equals, then we have here the, uh, the text, ampersand, and then we have here quotation, space, quotation. So, ang ibig sabihin po na itong quotation, space, and the quotation, ibig sabihin po yung character dyan is yung space. Kaya po nilagyan natin siya ng quotation dahil po yung character na space para hindi magkaroon ng error at mabasa yun. So nilalagyan natin siya ng quotation. Followed by ampersand. So this is for another text. And then we have here Peralta. Okay, so we have here now our result, Raymond space Peralta. Pwede rin natin gawin, gamitin natin yung function na concatenate. So the same po siya ng ampersand. So we have equals concatenate. Concatenate, meron tayo ditong tip, join several text strings into one text string. So we have your concatenate, open parenthesis, then we have your text one. So for text one, we have your the first text, followed by a comma, and then text two. Close parenthesis. Pag ginawa natin yung ganito, ang mangyayari dyan, wala po siyang space. So para magkaroon ng space, Ang gagawin natin, we have equals concatenate first text followed by a comma and then we have quotation mark, space, quotation mark, comma. So, ibig sabihin, yun po yung space and then we have here the second text. Close parenthesis, so we have here Raymond Peralta. I have here another example, Raymond with a small r. Okay. So, ang gusto kong gawin, gagamitin ko yung proper. Ano yung proper? Proper. Ang proper is to convert a text string to proper case. The first letter in each word in uppercase and all other letters to lowercase. Ibig sabihin, pag proper, only the first letter yung capital, the rest are in lowercase. So proper, then we have read the text, selected text, and then close parenthesis, and then hit the enter. So we have here now Raymond. So for another example here is we have Raymond, and I will use the upper. What is an upper function? It converts a text string to all uppercase letters. So this is it, gagawin yang upper case. So we have here, and then pre press enter. So we have here Raymond. So in all capital letter. Another example here is we have all capital letters. And I will use lower function. So what is the lower function? Converts all letters in a text string to lowercase. Okay. So this data in all capital letters, okay, gagawin niya into small letters. Okay, another example here to use the then. What is this then? So we have here, para maintindihan natin, an example. Len returns the number of characters in a text string. So ibig sabihin, bibilangin niya kung ilang characters doon sa string. Pag sinabi natin characters, kasama po dyan yung space. Okay, so kung meron kang space, Raymond, space, Peralta, so kasama ko yung space doon sa pagbibilang niya. Okay, so we have seven. For Raymond, we have seven uh, characters. Next is we have left function. So ano na itong left function? So ang left function is returns the specified number of characters from the start of a text string. So ibig sabihin, kukunin ko lang yung nasa left side. So open parenthesis, we have text. So, select the data, followed by a comma, and what is this number character? So, ibig sabihin, doon galing sa left side, ilang character yung gusto mong 
uh, kunin. So, for example, gusto ko makuha yung tatlong characters. So, I have your three characters. So, the result is Ray. So, there are three characters galing doon or simula doon sa left side. So, yun po yung gamit ng left. Ano naman yung right? So, for example, I have here another example, equals. Then we have your right. Right returns the specified number of characters from the end of a text string. So, first is the text, select the text, followed by a comma, and then the number of characters. I want to have four characters. So four characters, okay, dun sa right side. So, we have here one. Another one is we have here mid. So, ano yung mid? Mid returns the characters from the middle of a text string given a starting position and length. So, we have here text. So, select the text, follow the comma, and then start num. What is this start num? The start number is the starting position. So, meaning, kung saan ka magsisimula. So, gusto ko magsimula sa letter M. So, letter M, we have R, A, Y, M. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, I have here 4. So, this is my starting point, 4, in letter M. Next is, how many characters from the starting point? So, I want to have the 3. I want to extract the 3. So, 1, 2, 3. So, we have here 3. So, the result will be Mon. And we also have here another example, Raymond, space, space, Peralta. So, as you can see, meron po tayong maraming space dito. So, to get rid of the spaces, we have trim. So, trim removes all spaces from a text string except for a single spaces between words. So, we have open parentheses, we have text, then close parentheses. So, we have here now, Raymond Peralta. That's all for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you again in my next video.